Прийшли окупанти до нас в Україну, форма новенька, воєнні машини, та трохи поплавився їх інвентар. Байрактар. Байрактар. Російські танкісти сховались в кущі, що в лаптя посорбати довбані щі, та трохи у щах перегрівся навар. Байрактар. Байрактар Зі сходу припхались до нас барани Для восстановлення великої страни Найкращий пастух баранячий хотар Байрактар Байрактар 
ніхто води всяке озброєння, різне ракети, потужні машини залізні. У нас на всі доводи є коментар. Байрактар. Байрактар. Вони захопити хотіли нас зразу, і ми зачаїли на орків образу з бандитів російських робить примар. Байрахтар! Байрахтар! Російська поліція справи заводить на вбивцю рашистів, ніяк не знаходить, хто ж винен, що в нашому полі глухар. Байрахтар! Байрахтар! Веде пропаганду кремлівський урод, Слова пропаганди ковтає народ, Тепер нове слово знає їх цар. What's going on, folks? Somehow, before every single one of these streams, I happen to be doing something right up until, like, the song is about to end. Right up until Putin is on the screen, I'm always, like, doing something like, oh, shit. And I was just putting up putting up a uh, community post uh, telling everybody to come over here. So, uh, yeah. So, if I look tired, if I look or sound tired or anything like that, I apologize. I, I look and feel like shit. I feel awful, honestly. <laughs> I don't even want to look at myself. Um, that's fine. Like, uh, so I had a long ass day. It was hot as shit. I got no relief from the heat. But uh, luckily, the day prior, I had gotten a uh, like a Pedialyte. Um, so I drank that while I was at work, and uh, I think that saved me. But uh, needless to say, I am very tired. So this isn't going to be uh, necessarily brief more just condensed um we have a whole lot of uh, clips to go through um a lot of things content warning uh it's not if it's not the kind of stuff you want to see uh mango i i am sure is willing to uh open up the uh, might be willing to open up the uh the discord to talk to people if you're uh if you just want to go and chill or whatever and uh there's also uh hannibal mati are streaming right now uh, so if you want to go and chill and do that, but it's not a whole hell of a lot of, uh, death and destruction, all that good stuff. But, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a, a little heavy here and there. Um, uh, Mango Jones, uh, you just got to take the fedora out of your head. Don't chew with your mouth full and survive one stream before bed. Yes. Thank you so much. Don't forget those, uh, those important facts, folks. Uh, do not chew with your mouth full. It is, it is important. You might, uh might bite your tongue and uh you, if you don't take the fedora out of your hat well you might make yourself make an ass out of yourself on the internet so there's that <laughs> all right thank you to everybody that's here all the lurkers uh let's uh let's get into it so i was having a lot of computer trouble before that's why we are uh why i'm like so late that and it's been hot as fuck today so it's finally actually cool in here um i had the ac set to 80 degrees and it was still cold when i walked in the door it, was, it felt so good it was so nice but uh needless to say i am again tired but we'll uh we'll get into in, into some stuff here in uh here in just a second let me put on a little music in the background more for me, uh, less for you, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's just to keep my brain up. Oh, puppy dog. Uh-oh. You're in the wrong... Um... No, not that one. That's the one you want. Get your shit together, lizard. I mean, monitor. I mean... Shh. Nobody tell anybody. Let's see. Let's put something on in the background. Uh, live... And it's beach, Japanese 80. Yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna put a little. Uh we'll find something. I shouldn't have closed what I had. But that's okay. Cause it's uh <laughs> it's 
too easy to find. Uh, oh, not that one. That's the one. There it is. It's right there. T U V W. Playlists. Oh man. Yeah, I had a long fucking day. Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you. Do that. So we're gonna put on just a little music and music in the background. Thank you, guys. All right, hit that like button, all that good stuff. Uh, share the stream, subscribe, and hit the bell. Ding, ding. All righty. So, uh, where we left off was pretty much essentially where we are today, except ugh, my computer is doing less than it typically does. Okay. <laughs> it's doing a lot less than it typically does. Uh, wants to do so we're gonna close that uh it's gonna get gotten rid of we'll close that too uh i get a lot of tabs open in the background so don't worry it's it's more probably just that uh well all these tabs i guess you guys can see i thought uh, i thought this was different oh shit now you're gonna see all of my tabs folks all right we'll get rid of the tabs and we'll go into this and uh hopefully do do a little bit better all right here's where we're at uh, the biggest uh, battles that we've seen so far uh, in the news are going to be up in here in Sverdinetsk. And uh, there have, uh, there's a call for evacuation in uh, in this city. I can't pronounce. <laughs> Lysyshansk? I'm trying. Lysyshansk? I'm, I'm trying. Lysyshansk and Sverdinetsk. And... Um, so there's uh it says battle battles continue in Sverdonetsk. Uh Sver Sverdonetsk. Uh Russian army attempted to assault uh Toshkiva Toshkivka. General staff of armed forces of Ukraine said in the evening report. So they're con they're they're still uh assaulting this and the uh it looks like we've got kind of another situation that we were seeing up here in the in the north if you remember in ichnia um where the russians were surrounding uh, a certain area and trying to uh, close in on it and now the uh, ukrainians have taken over in this uh taken over the, those uh, occupied areas or retaking those occupied areas to a certain point and it seems like they're trying to do the exact same thing they're being a lot more successful con considering there's uh there's a lot of distance between uh, uh, Kiev and not Kiev, Kiev and uh, Sverdlovsk, and as well as the west from from uh, Sverdlovsk. And we've got was this uh, French president Emmanuel Macron has arrived at the border between Poland and Ukraine. Cool, he's gonna do a thing. He's gonna be like, I'm French. Look at my cookies. Uh, it might be because of all of the heat, too. The heat wave with humidity we're going through right now is insane. Yeah, it is not good. It's it sapped my energy. I was I was not a I was not a fan today. I was like, it's not like I I don't do anything. <laughs> I wasn't like sitting in a in an office. I was actually out like fucking moving things, moving material. I don't want to tell you what my job is. Shut up. Anyway, all right, so. <laughs> So we've seen a, a lot of fighting here in uh, Tsvirdonetsk, um, and there's calls for uh, evacuations in uh, Lysychansk, uh, Lysychansk, sorry, and it seems like the, uh, the Russians are probably going to end up taking this. I don't know whether or not the Ukrainian forces are going to end up retreating or fighting their way out or if we're gonna see some kind of uh i don't know a hail mary come from come from the west at any point but uh it's not gonna go well for anybody unless um well the fighting essentially ceases immediately because <laughs> uh, as this as this gap closes right here um between these two uh russian forces it's going to cause problems for it's going to cause even more problems for the uh, civilians inside because now you have forces firing from every angle and no way out. 
so it it does not uh <laughs> does not help um uh, it's not gonna help our situation so uh i guess we'll have to continue to check that out uh not uh, a couple weeks ago uh, about this time yeah uh around this time uh mary bowl fell uh complete completely all of the uh all excuse me <clears throat> all of the remaining defenders surrendered and uh were evacuated and they uh they were taken into i guess russian custody i'm not sure 100% what's going to happen with them and i hope they uh get the trial that they deserve at the very least Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Oh, excuse me. But uh, no, for real, that was... Uh, that's what I'm talking about. My computer has been acting up. A lot of it has to do with the... Uh, uh, whatchamacall? Uh, a live UA map. That's what's been causing me a, a hell of a lot of problems. So we're just going to move on um essentially we we've seen and we'll uh we'll see again next week um i want to do this uh earlier next week hopefully uh earlier in the week rather um and early in the day um but uh yeah i have uh, a bunch of stuff for you uh for you guys here i found on punker 530 that we're gonna watch and there's some there's some things here that we're just gonna kind of talk about and uh, a lot of stuff from uh russian ukraine that we're gonna uh, be talking about again this is combat footage um it is is it it's not necessarily not safe for work but then again it is not the best to uh <laughs> to uh you know have on youtube but um that all being said uh we're gonna uh, get into a little bit of it now the first one that we have is a sympathetic detonation and for anybody that doesn't know what a sympathetic detonation is it's essentially when uh, you hit one target and everything around it uh, that's, um, <coughs> excuse me, explosive explodes. Sorry. And I got a <coughs> oh, beer here. I got a frog in my throat, sorry. No product placement. Oh my God. Sorry about that. I'm having a rough night, folks. I apologize. Anyway, so sympathetic detonation is essentially like um, if you hit a, if you're aiming for a tank, like this guy kind of is, 
and uh, all of the ammunition that's stockpiled around this tank explodes. And that's what he's aiming for. He's aiming for an, an ammo depot, and that's where we're at. And we're we're actually in uh, Syria, I believe, in this one. Uh, yeah, Syrian regime. Uh, these are rebels fighting the Syrian regime, uh, backed by the CIA. And they're going to fire into this uh, am ammunition depot. Explode it now. You might have seen the thumbnail. If you saw the thumbnail, or the uh, thumbnail of this video, yeah, you're going to see a uh, quite something go off. Pretty massive. And what he's firing is a tow missile, I believe. Uh, it's an anti-tank guided missile. I, I think, I'm not sure if this tow is fly-by-wire or... Uh, it would be uh, radio control because fly by wire. I mean, it makes a significant difference. I think we talked about it uh, not too long ago. The fly by wire has a, a shorter distance. It has to, it literally has a physical wire attached to it. Whereas the uh, radio control would have well, radio. You could see what you're shooting. Uh, Allahu Akbar. Radio control. Allahu Akbar. That would be. And no, I don't support either side in this. I'm just showing this. Allahu for... Akbar! Yeah. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! And then. Like, blast wave is about to hit. And yeah, that's what a sympathetic detonation is. So, whatever was in there, whatever was laying around, was obviously something really, really fucking important. Allahu Akbar. Because well, they hit it directly, and they they got a really good hit, and that's that's essentially what a lot of these uh, videos that we're gonna watch tonight are is just the. Uh, can I move this? Yeah, I can't move that. I I wanted to move it over this thing. Be like, yeah, I don't really want to put that up there. Anyway, um, uh, you can't. Can you? No. Anyway. Um, we had some really good hits. We got some really uh, cool stuff. If anybody wants to translate, by all means, go ahead. And uh, no, not welcome to any racist bullshit. I really don't care. <laughs> I just won't respond. All right. Next one comes out of Ukraine. Uh, I believe uh, walking conducting reconnaissance, aero reconnaissance, and correcting artillery fires. The Ukrainian observation drone recorded itself being shot down by Russian air defense systems, surface to air, surface to air missile SAMs. And I've talked about, I, ooh, I've used that term for SAM, surface to, surface to air missile. They're extremely deadly. Surface to air missiles are like a, they're they're scary if you're ever a pilot because well, it it's a missile, it's coming right at you, and they're extremely deadly um they they're not <sighs> compared to like anti-aircraft fire yes a surface to air a surface to air missile battery is going to more than likely take you down because it has tracking systems etc cetera, etc cetera. um but this is this is a drone it's unmanned and it's observation an observation drone so obviously the russians have seen it and you'll see a lot of these videos of um, uh, coming out of here, whether you look uh, on here or on your own, you're going to see a lot of these videos that have uh, the Russians hiding in the roads along uh, or hiding along the in the wood line along these roads. Um, I'm not sure uh, what the tactic is other than the fact that it's the only cover around the only tree cover. Uh, because they are fighting essentially on the plains. Like you can see, there's farm field. There's nothing else around here. So they're otherwise wide open. Um, I guess would essentially be my guess. But this is um, luckily unmanned. And you would never get this shot. I don't know, ever. And uh, I mean, that's, a, that's an amazing just camera shot of this missile. Just taking off and whoop. Boom. 
it's actually pretty uh <laughs> actually pretty wild to watch uh let's watch it one more time just one more Foo. just comes up and plop plops it out of the sky it's actually i i don't know that's there's a lot of things that come out of this war and a lot of the drone footage unfortunately is uh horrific however we do have some shots like that so we gotta appreciate them once in a while now i did say i did say um that uh we were gonna see some good shots uh, we were gonna see some I, we just saw one more it was another good shot we had another uh decent shot there um but this one is a, even more impressive now the hell cannon scores and uh Insane Drake hitting Aleppo. And what these guys did is, oh, sorry about that, is they made an improvised mortar. And you kind of see see it down here if you look, uh, if you look at it. Um, and what a mortar is, is a mortar is not a cannon. It's, it's basically, um, well, it's, it's kind of, it's a type of cannon, but it's not like, um, uh, it's made, uh, its original purpose was to fire explosive shells over castle walls and to make them explode um, and stuff like that. I don't know if we watched a video or I watched a video on that. Um, but this is a this is a mortar and it shoots at a high angle and uh, a mortar is like the same one that you drop the uh, drop your uh, round in, which you're, we're going to see later. Yes, we are. Uh, and how not to drop a round into a mortar tube. Uh, so basically what's happening is they're launching this explosive shell onto this, uh, alleged fighting position and we're going to see, uh, how well they do. Boom. And that's an amazing shot. That's, I'm not sure how far away that is exactly. Oh, this is your screenshot. I'm not sure how far away that is. I can't see the rounds. I'd say that's like in a straight line, like it, it maybe a maybe a couple miles. I'm not sure. It's a long ass distance, but they hit this skyscraper perfectly. And just boom, annihilated whatever was on top of there. Um, the top of the building, essentially. Oh man, and I don't have the audio. On, I was about to say, I'm sure they're yelling, uh, you know, certain. Wow. It, it, like when you hear it, it's actually a much louder explosion or a much bigger explosion. Yeah, and you can tell you can tell by that like thump that they actually hit inside something. That was an absolutely ridiculous direct hit. No, I do not support either side in this uh, in this fight. Um, the only people I do support are the, uh, well, the, the the people who are caught in the middle. Now. We have something. We got a mystery, folks. I was hoping we'd have more people here for this one. But we do have a mystery. Now, we got to figure this out. We have to figure this out. Is this or is this not CGI? Is it or is it not? I'm going to make this as big as possible. It's there. Is this or is this not CGI? Let me know. What you what do you think? It's a very short video. It's only twenty seven seconds. And what these uh, what these uh, fighter jets are doing is what we 
we saw a while back what the helicopters were doing is they were actually using this technique of um, they'll swoop down and then angle up so that they can fire their rockets or missiles or uh, whatever projectiles they have, they have the long range projectiles and use them as an improvised uh, multiple launch rocket system <clears throat> in order to uh, affect an area and hit an area target um, out of their range or um, uh, essentially uh, or that's something too well defended or something like that to just uh, keep the enemy's head down or um, hit, even hit your target. So that's what these jets are doing. And these uh, these fire jet fighter jets are I think they're SU-25s or ground attack aircraft, possibly. Um, yeah, SU-25. So I think that's those are ground attack uh, aircraft. And they're just firing their rockets off uh, into the uh, into the abyss. So. Tell me what you think. There's no actual audio on this one. And yeah, we'll watch it a couple times. Don't worry. We're going to watch that back. Let me know what you think, folks. Hit those comments below. Yeah. All right. I'll uh I'll play it one more time. I don't know if I I don't think I can slow mo it. We'll try. We'll see if we can slow mo it. Settings. Ooh, speed. Uh we'll we'll do point seven five. Got an email. I thought it might be YouTube telling me to buzz off. All right, we'll, we'll play it one more time at half speed. I'll tell you what I what I think. I'll tell you what I think after we play it uh, one more time. Half speed. All right. More missiles, another fighter aircraft. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, folks. I want to see that. I want to see that first aircraft again, actually. Right. Oopsie. Yeah, I think that's what trips everyone up is that shot right there. That really looks fake as shit. <laughs> to me. I think I, I I don't know. I think it might be uh it might be either one of two things. Here's my theory. It's one of two things. It's either a mixture of like fake video uh, and like a real landscape or something like that, or it's real video and it's just a trick of the eye and the quality of the video. But we've also seen like all of this stuff come out. So I think it's actually fake. I think this is fake. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is a fake video. It looks unrealistic. We shall see. 
some dude down in the comments said that it uh, they were <laughs> some or some dude somebody down in the comments uh, said that they uh, worked in CGI and they're like, well, if it's if it's fake, it it's really fucking good. And I'm like, I don't know. A lot of people are calling it fake. I don't know how well you, I don't know if you're that good. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, so content warning here, folks. Um, you're going to see uh, somebody get wounded. Uh, I believe you, you uh, might see somebody get wounded. So this is, uh, this is going to be a little terrifying, a little traumatic, I, I guess more. Yeah. Uh, more so than uh, just to look at than to uh, actually um, I don't know I don't know what I was saying so what I, what we gotta what understand is there's just these drones out there that are uh, observing people and they're just watching over and these guys have no idea what the fuck is happening. They're just setting up in their fighting positions, chilling. And these are Ukrainians. So, um, we're going to see, uh, what the Russians do. And, and this is what, uh, uh the Ukrainians do. This is a, how this war is being fought is with these drones. And we're going to see, um, uh, later on, I, I think I have a video of uh, the uh, switch or for the for the switchblade drones that are being used because they're uh, I forget what are loitering drones because they can just chill in the air and observe. And then when they when whoever finds a target, they're just like, OK, I'm going to go after that BMP or that tank or that uh, squad or whatever the fuck it is. And I'm just going to, you know dive my uh suicide drone into this you know target and do the maximum amount of damage um uh what's going on uh, two guns thank you for being here uh folks all right uh yeah you got here just in time we're about to see some artillery strikes now this is just this here is uh actually just a uh atgm anti-tank guided missile it got called out because it obviously stands out uh, amongst the, the shit that's up here because, well, it's the only thing that's blown in the fucking wind. So, yeah, uh, poorly camouflaged. Uh, so they're, they're just going to, like, smash it up. And you can deny the enemy. And you never know if the enemy might be in, uh, like, nearby. So you might... Uh, deny them more than material and here's another one this looks more just like the uh stand so what this is is uh this is basically like a quick reaction so they'll take a the um some of the atgms uh the tripod mounted ones uh actually have like are reloadable and they just they basically what you'll do is you take the uh take the missile you know put it in here and calibrate it and do do your thing and then you can you're able to fire it so they can set up this tripod up here and have all of their uh ammunition downstairs or in a safe place and when you know the call comes in hey we got the you know russians coming in go ahead and go upstairs they can do that and uh, we have this unfortunate soul, and uh, this is how we know they're Ukrainian. Right there, left arm, nice big blue bandage uh, on the arm. And his uh, his ATGM was actually uh, loaded. You can see because he's he's just chilling here and. There it is. It's all set up and it's ready to fire. And this guy's like, all right, I'm going to crawl out. My thing. And here's how they've got it set up. So he's got the, he's got the tripod over here. He's got uh, um, his mount right over uh, on this little stump here. So he's going to crawl over to, over to it. 
see what he can see from there. And then he's going to go ahead and get his, uh, his ammunition right here and roll it over to him. Uh, if that were uh, the plan. Unfortunately, the Russians had different ideas. And uh, that seemed to be a, like a mortar, I believe, that landed. It's probably more like a mortar uh, rather than a, like large artillery. Um, you know, like 60 millimeter mortar rather than like a 155 shell, because 155 shell would obviously annihilate that building. Um, but something like even like a 105 or a uh, shit, even a, a small. I think it was 75 millimeter rockets were the smallest ones they launched at us. Uh, something like that would even do a, a lot more damage. So yeah, it looked probably like a, a much smaller mortar. Um, hit that like button folks. And I've actually shown this video before, but it's actually, it's pretty interesting. It's funny. And this comes from uh, 1992, uh, a group of Croatian soldiers rolling a naval mine down a mountain into the enemy. And it's pretty fucking cool. It's pretty interesting. So they, they have these naval mines that are just chilling. And they, they got them up to the top of a mountain. They're just like, fuck it. We're going to arm it and roll it down. And if it makes it, we'll fuck the enemy. Supposedly the first unique case that it is used at an altitude of 1,746 meters. What kind of mine is that? This is called a naval mine. Or anti-ship mine. Tell me, uh, has it affected? Has it? Its effect been tested lately? Its effect has already been tested, and it's shown great effect. Holy shit! So far, thank you very much. You're welcome. Here, with apologies, but look out! Don't get too close. Like, don't worry. Then I'll push the mine and. <laughs> Instead of a few meters from a boat, I'll push it down this large mountain. Sure, why not? <laughs> the text is going really fast. I'm sorry. Put on a helmet, please. It's like, look at him go. God damn. That's a weird ass fucking. <laughs> Hold on. Two guns. I hope you're looking. What what the fuck kind of what the fuck is this position? No, this is not a kneeling position. You do not put your foot. What the fuck? Mango, get your ass over here. Get your rifle and do this. Point it at a point it at like a wall or something. Make sure it's not loaded. But like nobody does this. Nobody does this. What is this? What whose leg is that? Where did you get this leg, sir? It's not your leg. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like my leg is not jelly. <laughs> yeah, he has the angle cannon out weird. It, like it's about to push, but and like I guess before I can tactical squad. He he looked like he was just look like he, his leg just gave up. I don't know. I don't think I ever noticed that before. Alrighty. This one I haven't I didn't watch through. Um so Yeah, we can watch it. So it's a controller view of drone attack against Russian BMP footage from the perspective of a Ukrainian drone a drone operator showing the dropping of modified high explosive down to a Russian BMP two. And you can see like this is a this is like the LCD screen on my phone. It's it's fantastic, and he's using it to. 
He's like, yeah, we found one in the forest. Yeah. That's absolutely fucking ridiculous, dude. That is ridiculous how easy that is. That's fucking scary. That was actually one of the scariest videos I think I've ever fucking watched. Uh, I think a lot of what they're actually beeping, bleeping out is, uh, uh, yeah, cool. I think a lot of what they're bleeping out is actually like the F got word and whatever. Uh, let's find the results of his actions. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Justine. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, Mango. <laughs> Yes, sit, 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 think about what you've done. All right, we got some more. We got a little bit more, and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm fucking tired. All right. Uh, so Ukrainian troop gets machine gun barking. I, I want to see what this is. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've seen this. I thought it was a uh, Ukrainian Ukrainian troops, uh, plural. I thought they were gonna be having uh, talking guns, but we'll see. the fuck all he did was fire like a 50 cal <laughs> fuck that that was the that was the worst video ever that uh, uh, funker 530 take that down please we deserve better anyway man quality all right hey howdy dita thank you for sending me more uh for the pictures i know i said it, I said it last time but you send me pictures of the ocean and i miss the ocean i need a puppy dog too i need to get I got it. It's on the books for this month. It's getting a puppy dog. Finally. And I have, a, uh, I have my P.O. Box application in. It's a young fox. Psych. Um. I forgot what I was about to say about this. Oh, okay. So this video comes. I'm guessing from the Ukrainian government uh, because this it displays the uh, M77 M777 howitzers that are, are uh, one 155 millimeter um, uh, artillery pieces, and they are they're extremely deadly because they're made out of uh, they're actually made out of um, magnesium, I believe, or no tungsten. Hang on one second, I got a video on that. Let me see that. No, not that quite yet, but, um, too easy, Ryan Macbeth. Um, there it is. Videos. That's the one, not that one. No. Uh, how? No, no. Uh, no, 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 not that one. That's the wrong one. What's that little hook? It's the hook. Ah, there it is. What is the metal spike? Scourge. Why is that so quiet? Why are you so quiet? Let me see. At the front of an M7. Why are you so quiet? That's weird. All right, we're going to turn you up. Oop. With the recent deployment of American Howardsers to Ukraine, a couple of people have asked me, what is this metal spike for? 
While this weapon is very lightweight and capable of direct fire, it is not an attachment for a really large bayonet. The metal spike's real function is as a tow hook. Older Howitzers were towed from the rear by truck. But modern guns like the M777 are built with titanium, which makes them light enough and strong enough to be towed by a truck using only the barrel. What is the... My mic was muted. Yeah, am I too loud? Too too uh too soft? Let me know. Let me know where I'm at. Uh, up or down? All right. So have hook will tell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Hey, ask any of the Ukrainian farmers. They might uh they might get one here here and there. And uh, so okay. Thank you. So, all right. So, uh, excuse me. So that's uh, that's one of the main things that makes the M seventy seven so um, awesome. You guys, are, you guys are the best. Um, yeah, get out. No, meh. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the things that makes the M seventy seven so um, so deadly. Is what what he said at the end is because it's so light because it's made out of titanium and titanium. And titanium allo alloys being so um, so uh, lightweight and uh, heavy heavy and durable can actually you know make an artillery piece like that uh, even more mobile. And with those artillery pieces, you can deal a lot of damage because 155 millimeter shell does a shitload of damage. It really, really does. Um, that's what that's what. Uh, was ubiquitous as uh, roadside bombs or IEDs in um, in Iraq and Afghanistan, excuse me, as well as uh, all over the, I mean, all over the, <laughs> the Middle East nowadays. They still use that as an uh, improvised explosive device. Um, the, uh, what you call, explosions video that I did, the uh, ordnance disposal video that I did, um, when I was in the military, they were packing 155 shells, and those things are massive. And you can see what what came out of that with all of those. So um, you'll have to go and check out the main channel, and which uh, I'm sure Mango will put here once I've said it. Thank you, Mango. One has to transport the shells as well. This is true, but you can also transport the shells in the truck if the, um, what you call, uh, the artillery piece is lightweight enough. Uh, or at least part of the, uh, you, you have to carry the crew, their weapons, their gear, plus enough ammunition to be able to load it. And then you actually have to, you would probably have to have a support truck, but you would have to have uh, support anyway, because you have to have, well, uh, what you call, uh, maintenance to uh, take care of the damn thing. <laughs> so yes, you also have to, uh, the, uh, you also have to have uh, a lot of backup. And there's another uh, a Ryan Macbeth video on that, which if TIE Fighter Jet were here, I would definitely play that video if he wants to see it. But this one, uh, Russian grad unit destroyed by U.S. delivered M777 howitzers, which are 155 millimeters. So we've got... All right, got an observation drone going on here, so we're gonna we're gonna play it back. Fuel, fuel, fuel. How are they acquiring and storing fuel in Ukraine these days? It's actually a really good question. Um, I imagine I, I think Ukraine Ukraine does have a decent amount of its own fuel production, but I'm not sure. Plus, the uh, the Ukrainians wouldn't need uh, as much fuel as the uh, um, as the Russians, because the Russians have to use that fuel in order to continuously bring in troops into Ukraine. Um, 
and the Ukrainians ne- basically just have to um, hold their defenses. They have to supply their troops with, uh, you know, they, they have to give their troops ammunition and things like that. Um, whereas the uh, the Russians actually have to provide all of their equipment as well. So <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that really made sense, but uh, that is a good question. I don't know exactly where they're getting all of their fuel. Hopefully it's not from my gas tank. Hopefully nobody's siphoning shit. Uh, I'm unimpressed with Russian satellite defense in- intelligence. Uh, I have no idea about uh, s- uh, their satellite defense intelligence. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest with you, Dita. Um, but from what I know, uh, at least uh, on the ground level, um, I know that the Russians are... I'm unimpressed with the uh, the Russians coming into Ukraine. Um, but I am impressed with the response from the West, uh, at least so far. And what? And you can see that it's like, oh, they're just firing off rockets. No, it's burning, obviously. And the rockets are just going to go off. Now, this is one of those things like that rock is just going to land somewhere and could explode or it could just land in the ground in the ground and in a swamp or something and just be stuck there forever uh, until somebody steps on it and just boom and goes off. So that's one of those dangers of uh, of war. Uh, uh. (laughs) Me thinks it's zero. (laughs) You you think that, you think that well you know military intelligence is a oxymoron isn't it <laughs> I think we can all agree on that now <laughs> all right we got a few more and then I really actually got to go to bed I got a couple things to cleanse the palate this is gonna be a really short stream I'm sorry uh, I really wanted to do uh, do more uh, I think I have a Oh, I do have a couple in the uh, in the um, YouTube playlist, but we'll play those. Don't worry. Um, this is uh, this is something I I just found this and it just happened to be there. I was like, you know what, I, I'm gonna play this, and it kind of it's something that I I talked about um, early on in doing these streams, and it's called conditioning the environment. And what this is, is the uh, bombardment of um, Okinawa. And the same thing happened on Normandy uh, when the when the Allies landed. They hit them with massive naval artillery strikes, bombers, and everything like that before they did the beach landings because they wanted to not only uh, kill troops, destroy, uh, destroy equipment, uh, but they also wanted to shock anybody that would would that it was still there, and it ended up being extremely effective. And that's been uh, something that they, that they've been doing uh, for forever. Um, and that's what they've been doing throughout this war because again, this is a conventional war. Russia has lost over thirty thousand troops at this point. Let that sink in. Let that one sink in. Russia has lost 30,000 troops, over 30,000 troops at this point. So um, as far as the Ukrainians, um, I'm sure they have, they have suffered significant losses. I don't know the numbers out of there. The only numbers that I know are the Russians, but that gives you at least a small, uh, small insight into the scale of this conflict uh, because it is not, it, it is not something to just stay, uh, shake a stick at. This is um, this is not something to, to, you know, just pass off. Shucks, I haven't been to Okinawa since 1978. I wish I could go to Okinawa. I'd love to. Um, Oki's hydrate and full night's sleep is, is essential. Yeah, I really got to get to bed soon. Um, I got to get some food in me, too. All those years uh, and Soviet initiatives, the Russians are... Uh, the Russians were not the powerhouse. They were advertised during the Cold War. No. Well, here's the thing. They kind of were, but they weren't built properly. The, well, they weren't built for this war. 
this war is a different war and they they would have been totally fine uh during the cold war however they fucked up because they kept cold war tactics into the, the 21st century and now they're essentially putting uh rocks they're literally actually literally putting rocks in cages on their tanks as extra protection to try and get around the uh the failures of their their government and uh military strategy uh I took my sleep sleep med about seven minutes ago so i got 20 minutes all right perfect so here you can see like they're this is the uh this is the allies this is the americans um, and yay for pride, absolutely mango pride, uh, heart, mango, cake, square, mango, heart. Okay. I don't know what the, uh, I'll have to wait until it like pop populates on here <laughs> to figure out what it is. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, am I, uh, oh, I'm on, I'm under, um. Uh... Yeah, I'm under backup monitor. I don't know why it's not populating. Oh, well. Oh, it's the boba tea. Okay. I thought so. I was like, what is, I was like, <laughs> I had it in my brain, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Anyway, so they, again, they're conditioning the environment. They're trying to make sure that any equipment is destroyed that's out in the open, any personnel are taken out, any uh, uh, land is a uh, land that can be. Um, denied or cleared is cleared and they're using rockets rockets were actually a, a uh like a new thing in world war ii rockets were fairly new to the world um especially in mass quantities like this they weren't like you know we knew about rockets and um fireworks and things like that but we didn't understand exactly how to make the best rocket so uh, a lot of this, a lot of these things got perfected during World War II, and here we are. And they're just launching these batteries that are coming off, and it's just ship after ship. These uh, some are moving in, some are moving out, getting resupplied, and everything like that. Um, bubble tea for Mango, oh Mango Jones, Boba Boba Mango. Oh, mango boba. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, D. Duval. You're such a sweetheart. All right. So, this last one, uh, last couple. Um, I got, uh, let me, let me see what I got on, on YouTube. Cause I feel like I had something on YouTube for a second there. Yeah, you do. Um, what was that thing? the things that I saved for that thing that you do that you're supposed to do once a week which you usually do once a week um, okay all right um, no never mind I do not have that video all right, never mind. All right, we got a couple more videos, and then uh, I guess we'll head out. Um, I thought I did. Oh, man. Hold on. I, I know I do. Because uh, I want to watch it before... Uh, before we get out of here. Uh, no, not there. Russia... Did I put it here? No. Did I put it here? I'm really hoping because it's a very good video. It's not in here. Oh, shit dog. Crappy La Hola. All right. Sorry, guys. Um... All right, never mind about that. Uh, wonder where those Russian subs are. They're they're still out there, hundred percent still out there. 
Couldn't a few Russian subs strategically have the advantage to caper, capture and secure Odessa, or am I uh, not well informed? Uh, I mean, you can. You you still need ground troops out there, so you'd have to have someone to go in to capture the the area. Unless that you're talking about like a body of water. I don't want to bring up the UA map again because uh because it, it it'll stop the stream. But um uh I'm I am not well informed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh the the if you were trying to capture a, a landmass, you obviously need ground troops. So like uh yeah those uh, a couple uh submarines sure but at the same time like you there's very few submarines actually in the world and the oceans are really big and submarines are small on the inside too it's a lot of things so imagine i don't know submarines do not make landing craft submarines would be better to secure the way for landing craft however comma space if you are uh if you happen to be uh in a craft hopefully it is not this this bmp because right now it is trying it's hard it's damnedest to get out of uh get out of the range of uh ukrainian artillery however ukrainian artillery seems to be uh, a little too good for well the the russian military i guess yes uh at least that's the way i uh i see it oh well so it seems that so it's like, eh, it's trying to get out of there. It's almost out of there. And then, scourge, boom. I feel like they, I feel like the, uh, the troops, uh, like tried to pull off and they're like, all right, we're going to, as soon as, uh, like, th there's no way we're going to get out of here with this shit. Like, as soon as we, uh, as soon as I pull off, we're getting the ever living fuck out of here and we're going to dip. And that's exactly what they did and whether or not they got away. I'm not sure what they're smashing these BMPs like no other with this artillery. And it is absolutely, it's, it's impressive how, uh, how efficient they are with this. So, oh, excuse me. Just fucking wild. Like, honestly, look at that, that, Right here, you actually have the, the crater where that uh, artillery shell hit. And the blast just annihilated everything and blew open all of the compartments of this, uh, the pressure of this artillery shell, even it though it landed in the ground and pushed a lot of this uh, material out. And this material that it landed in is actually mud. It's not like really that solid ground. Um, pushed all that material out and still did, did that met, uh, much damage to this vehicle. So always remember these vehicles do have crews, unfortunately, and whether or not those crews were um, in or out of the vehicle, we don't know, but we can only hope that they were not in there. Uh, I'm going to look for something real quick. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, No videos found. Da, 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 da. Did I spell that right? I didn't spell that right. Copy. Fuck. Pay 
paste. I did spell that rice. Right. Uh, uh. Oopsie. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Bloopsie. Oh, wait. Not that one. Paste. Oh. Put an extra O in there. Ah, uh, da 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 yeah, I think this is the one. Check this out. Okay. So this is... Uh... No, this isn't the... Uh... That's not the one I was looking for. Oh, damn. Crazy Lokes. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Jeez. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the video if I can't. So long story short, uh, I'm trying to find the video. Uh, and it's. It's the view of this essentially from the ground. But uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if it's anywhere in here. All right, we're not going to do that. We're gonna, we're not going to search all over. It's all good. Now I got a couple feel goods for you guys. I got a, a, a warm fuzzies. We're gonna listen to this. We're gonna listen to this uh, Ukrainian guy, um, and his absurd turkey that just ignores this artillery. I'm like, dude, get down, gobble gobble, bro. Well, once uh, winter comes, they will be uh, foobar to the ninth degree. Yeah, it's not going to be very good. Um, the summer is going to be pretty, pretty fucked, and then the the winter is going to be extremely harsh because winters in Ukraine are not fun, uh, from what I hear. Russian winters, or the telling you, man, they got a history. All right. Hold on. Language. Ah! Sit silly. What an absurd turkey. Turkey's in the chat for that uh, absolutely absurd turkey. How dare you? Shake your fingers at it as Suka. Shake your fingers at this turkey. How absurd. Ah! Turkey fuck. Ooh. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Turkeys. Look at those turkeys. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble. Gobble, folks. All right. I'm going to end on uh, another little warm fuzzy. Excuse me. So this one's uh, this one's a little a little messed up, uh, but it, it. You'll be all right, like you'll be all right. It's it's hard to explain just take it in and yes you are going to see it's going to be a little bit it's going to be a little bit violent it's going to be a little bit it says it's an assault they, a very ham very ham fisted assault on this poor ukrainian soldier in his fighting position I'm sorry, I didn't mean to terrify you guys like that. That was horrible. Please don't hold it against me. I know lots of you are just you're just unsubscribing. You're like, what the what the fuck? Are they cute? <laughs> they are. Well, the little one. He's curious. He's like, what's going on? What are you doing? 
and unfortunately the 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 shitty thing about it is these poor pigs are probably just feral now like chilling you know they're, they're probably gonna get shot by uh, either yeah by one side or the other or picked up by uh by another farmer and just be like all right i got some pigs now spoils of war etc <laughs> yeah pigs yeah i'm furious bro i'm sorry to disappoint you two guns <laughs> dinner I mean they do look pretty damn delicious all right all righty that uh is actually all I have <laughs> and not that one this one I am actually really tired so I'm going to go to bed. I really appreciate everybody that came by. Thank you so much. And um, I am going to do these more often. I didn't know I was going to be just wrecked my ass off today. I don't know what the hell. Was that a sentence? I didn't know. I, was, I didn't know a thing. I'm going to bed. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for being here. We'll watch some more uh, ham-fisted assaults next time. Take care, folks. Please hit the uh, please hit the link in the in the description. Links in the description for uh, all of the charities as well.